Today we're training the brain and learning how to focus on the controllables. What's going on little dap? It's Luke Vercoloni, current pro and mental coach at Pro Performance. Today I'm a guest coach with Online Soccer Academy and happy to help you improve. At Pro Performance, we are a player's mental coach and help players develop real mental toughness. Learn more and get mental training and mentorship at properformance.guru. Key points on how to focus on the controllables. Key point number one, Know what you can control. Know what is within your control. Here's a list of 10 things you can control. I'll go over the top three. After that, hit pause and read the rest of the list here. Number one, effort. First and foremost, you can control your effort and always have a high work ethic. Number two, attitude. Take ownership of your attitude and make a habit of having a great one. Number three, preparation. Be diligent about being as prepared as possible. This includes mental preparation in addition to your physical and technical preparation. Key point number two, know what you cannot control. The same as you should know what you can control, you should also know what you can't control. Here's a list of 10 things that you can't control. I'll go over the top three right here. Number one, the number of goals you score. While there are things that you can control to improve the likelihood of scoring, you can't be fully in control of your stats. Don't focus on your stats. Number two, the referees. So many players get themselves out of their game by complaining about the referees and focusing on them. When a referee makes a mistake, let it go. Number three, what others think. Don't focus on what others think of you. You play to be your best, have fun, and to get better. You can't please everyone all the time, no matter what you do. So don't focus on that. Key point number three, don't waste your mental energy. You have a limited amount of mental energy in what you can focus on. When you focus on things outside of your control, that energy is wasted. Things outside of your control can be a distraction. Distractions often lead to discouragement. Key point number four, focus on what you can control. With the limited amount of mental energy that you have, focus it on what you can control, like being the hardest worker on the pitch. That's a simple thing that you can focus on versus worrying about what your coach may do. Focusing on the controllables will positively impact your performance and give you the maximum opportunity to earn the results you desire. Focus on the controllables. Exercise to practice. You'll need a pen and paper for this exercise, or if you're not old school like me, then I'm sure you can figure out how to do this on Snapchat or something, or whatever you kids are using these days. First, write a list of your goals in soccer like making the team or becoming a starter or scoring 10 goals this year, breaking your juggling record, whatever it might be. Next, circle the goals on this list that are outside of your control. For example, becoming a starter. Yes, you control how hard you work to make it happen, but ultimately your coach makes the decision and that is out of your control. Now write down what you can do to help you reach those circled goals, those uncontrollable goals. These are called micro goals. For example, for the uncontrollable goal of becoming a starter, write down, work hard, be confident, jog in first every time the coach calls the team in, arrive early, stay after in practice, and work on your skills extra, etc. Micro goals are small, short-term action steps which will have a direct impact on reaching your long-term tangible goals. Now focus on your micro goals, focus on these controllables, and let the results take care of themselves. What's wrong? If you can't stop thinking about why you didn't score the hat trick in the last game, you're focusing on what you can't control. I know this can be disappointing, but don't get discouraged. Instead, focus on what you can control. Keep putting in the effort and focus on the controllables, and in time, the results will follow. Bonus tip, understand bad days happen. We all have them. You have them, I have them, nobody's perfect. Even pros have bad days. When you have a bad day, Learn from the mistakes you made and move on. You can't change the bad day, so focusing on it is focusing on something that you can't control. Remember, focus on what you can control. The two most powerful things that you can control are your effort and your attitude. Make a habit of always putting forth your best effort and attitude. These soccer virtues are a big part of your mental fitness. Hope you've enjoyed this online soccer academy video. Click the screen or in the description to visit properformance.guru. We help develop real mental toughness. Learn more and set up a session at properformance.guru. It was fun being a guest OSA coach. Say a little dap in the comments and let me know what you thought. My name is Luke Vercoloni and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything is possible. Believe in it!